Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be talking about the worst makeup I tried in 2022 so far. So these are not necessarily products that actually came out in 2022, but they're products that I tried in 2022 and all of these products kind of disappointed me. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But if you are new here, then hi, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you found it. I upload free videos three times a week and I would love it if you subscribed. But for now, if you want to see the worst makeup products of 2022 according to me then please keep watching. So I'm going to be starting with one product I actually still have in my collection. I think all the other ones I have declutter but this one I still have. This is the Dior Backstage Flash Perfector Concealer and this is just a concealer that really disappointed me. I mentioned this in a recent overhyped makeup video that I really think this wasn't worth the hype but I said in that video I'm not even sure if we can call this overhyped because I've seen quite a lot of mixed reviews on this and I'm definitely on the side that doesn't like this product. It doesn't really do anything for me. When you instantly apply it, it does look pretty nice, but it just fades so fast. And at the end of the day, I'm always wondering, you know, where's my concealer? My under eyes just don't look that good and I'm just not the biggest fan of this. Now I will say I do have this in a shade that's a little bit dark for me. So that could be the reason. If this was more brightening, maybe I would have loved it more because it was more of like a brightening concealer. But for the tone and the formula that this one currently is, I'm just not a big fan of this. I think there's better concealers out there for the price especially this is quite pricey and I'm kind of sad I spend my money on it that's like pretty much the only reason I am still keeping this in my collection it was expensive and I don't want this concealer to like go to waste I don't want to sell it because it's a little bit unhygienic because of like the applicator so I think I'm just going to keep this and maybe use this on like very no makeup makeup days maybe it's nice for that but for like my average makeup days I'm just not a big fan of this one from Dior then the next product is not going to be a surprise for you if you watch my channel of course I had to put the Makeup by Mario Mask for Mattes palette in this video. This product for me is genuinely the worst product I've tried in 2022. I found this palette was so so bad and I'm kind of confused because I see a lot of people love this. I bought this because it's so many people's favorite mattes palette but then also I've seen like a different group of people who really hate it as much as I do where it is patchy and it doesn't blend because I did like the colors I thought they were so so pretty but they were just all so incredibly patchy and I've been trying eyeshadow palettes for long enough that I know how I should use them I'm not saying I'm like the best person ever in applying eyeshadow but I do know how to apply my eyeshadow so it doesn't become patchy and this palette just whatever I tried it just didn't work and it became patchy and I found that just incredibly annoying because every time I created a look I just really did not like how it turned out I hated my look and I do like the makeup by Mario brand. I do think they have beautiful products, but unfortunately this Master Matte eyeshadow palette just wasn't it for me. It didn't work for me and I'm glad I declared it for my collection. I don't think I've ever declared something this fast. Next up is the Say Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Chili. Now this is one I was so excited to be trying because I see so many people talk about the Say Beauty Liquid Blushes that I just needed to try it out for myself. So I ordered the shade Chili, which is one of the newer shades and I was so excited to be trying this out. I will have my makeup by Mario video linked down below and also the video where I tried Say Beauty because there you could really see the disappointment of how this product worked for me. It didn't matter the way I applied this in, it just became patchy on my face and I'm so sad because I did like the color. I thought it was really pretty. I've seen Kelly Gooch post some reels with this product recently where it just looked beautiful and I'm like how can it not look like that for me? Like I just bought it from like an official retailer. I know it's a genuine official Say Beauty product and still the formula just doesn't seem to be the best. It is a nice like very thin formula but it just becomes patchy so I'm thinking it's just maybe the shade. I don't know why. I think I still have this somewhere in my house. I don't think I've thrown it away so maybe if I find it I'm kind of like curious to give it another try but for now this product just really wasn't it for me. It was so hard to work with and just not work the price. I even find the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer blushes easier to work with which has a lot because those have like a specific instruction of how to use them and those even work better than the one from Say Beauty. So this one for me was a very big disappointment. Speaking of Laura Mercier, I also wanted to include a product from them in this video. Just one that I was kind of disappointed by. I'm not saying it's like 
the worst product ever, but the Laura Marche Tinted Moisturizer, the original Tinted Moisturizer, I declare because I really didn't like it. It was so incredibly sheer on the face. It was like almost at a point where I was like, what is even like the point in applying anything if it's this thin? The shade was also a bit light for me, but it still works because it was so sheer. But also this product has SPF in there. And I think the SPF in there is oxybenzone, which really from all chemical sunscreen ingredients, I think I've read it's like the worst. So I don't like putting that on my face. So when I discovered that, it was like the point where I just decided to declare this because even on like very no makeup makeup days, I don't wanna put oxybenzone on my face if I have a better sunscreens in my collection. So this was just a product I had higher expectations for. I really wasn't a big fan of this. And I'm kind of sad because so many people like this product. Product. I thought it must be really good but for me and my makeup preferences it just really didn't do like a lot for me so that is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and then the last one I do also still have in my collection I actually forgot about this one the Natasha Denona Mini Crush Palette. Now this isn't necessarily like a super bad palette. I still have it in my collection because I like the color story and I think it's cute. But this released for Valentine's Day in like a little kit and I was so excited about this because I loved the colors in here. But the main reason why I was disappointed by this palette was the formula. Most of these shades don't work as nicely. I do like this light shade in here but the deeper shades just get a little bit patchy, a little bit easy and I'm just like for the price point and buying a Natasha Denona formula, I don't expect my eyeshadows to be patchy. If this was 10 euros, I wouldn't complain, but this was 30 euros with the brush. And for 30 euros and knowing you're buying a Natasha Denona palette, you're just expecting a lot more than having to work so incredibly hard for this to not be patchy that I decided to include it in this video because I would not buy this again. It's not worth the price for me. I think I'd rather just like buy a different palette because even even though the colors are nice I have to like really try for this not to become a patchy and it just takes a little bit too much effort for an eyeshadow palette at this price point so that is why I unfortunately had to include the Natasha Denona mini crush palette in the worst products I've tried in 2022 okay everyone then this is it for my worst makeup I've tried in 2022 I hope you guys enjoyed watching I was kind of glad I only had five products I'm thinking I'm forgetting something but I can't like remember it right now so if I discover some more products Products. I'll like do this video again at the end of 2022 with like some more fails but I'm hoping I'm not going to be trying more fails because that always sucks but let me know in the comment section what you think of the products I mentioned do you agree with my opinion or are they actually some of your favorites I know makeup can be so personal and different for everyone so it can totally be the case that these products do not work for me but they do work for you so I would love to know your opinion as well and also just let me know in the comment section what the worst products you have tried in 2022 so far is I would love to know that too but if you did enjoy this video then I would absolutely love it if you gave it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you don't miss any of my videos all of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it but with that said and to thank you guys all so much for watching I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you on my next video bye